Okay, I think we are about ready. So, we got, yesterday, we got through all the way, uh, we finished Chocoa, uh, the Chocoa Woods. That's what we finished up through yesterday. So, now we are at a point where we need to go to the Woohoo University. However, there was one achievement that I missed at the very beginning of the game. I had to beat Bowser without getting damaged, so we're giving that one attempt. One attempt. Sadly, you can't skip this. One attempt at Bowser. Whether or not I get it is... We'll see. And then... We'll, uh... Continue on with the game. Oh! Thanks for the faro, Marco01. Enjoy the emotes. We're just giving one e- uh, we're just trying to get a single, uh, achievement by starting the game over fighting Bowser. After that, we are, uh, gonna actually continue with the game. How's it going, Marco? Marker. I can't speed through this. Again, we're gonna give this a shot. Yeah, Toad needs to see Mario in the shower. Again. into the castle and hit Bowser in the back. Like the cowards we are. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without getting hit this time. I got close. Although, it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to take that dodging tutorial. Because it would force me to dodge it. So it's a free dodge. There we go. We got it. We got the little achievement here. Let me, um... While I reset... There it is. Here, we are going to... So reset there is. We're going to reset. Defeat Nintendo. Bowser. At Peach's Castle without taking damage. We got it. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. Right here. There we go. Alright, now we'll continue on with the game. Alright, so yeah, we already saved Queen Bean. Uh, she is back to normal. Let's explore a little bit. We can now explore the right side. Um, I have to begin making repairs to the Castle Court Gardens. They're right above us. The room to the right is called the Chest of Knowledge. It's full of useful tips for travelers. That's where we keep a store of books left behind by adventurers who once visited our castle. 
tell what's in here. Yeah, where did the tips say? If you strike monsters with your hammer as you enter battle, they'll be stunned as the fight starts, but no damage. Once you successfully perform a bros attack multiple times, you'll understand advanced commands. Yeah, I've already got a few of those. The shopkeepers in this land are to see a fine, smooth mustache. They become strangely generous. The higher your stash points are, the easier it is to get lucky hits in battle. Yeah, just higher crit rate and better discounts at shops. Let's see. Anything in here? Unless there's like a hidden block or something, there's nothing here. Nothing in the castle grounds. Is there more to explore? Um... I feel like there is somewhere. Hold on. It would be great if no one attacked the town or castle anymore. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, you, you want that, but it will never happen. Something always attacks. Someone always attacks. We plan to head for Woohoo University. Proceed southeast from the castle. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are allowed passage on on the road to Woohoo University. We're lucky there was no major structural damage to the castle. Yeah, how lucky. Like, oh wait, do I need to go down here? Oh, getting over there must be somewhere else, like completely. Okay. Looks like everything in this town is back to normal. And this is where we thought we would be. Okay. And to the left is the sewers. Yeah, we don't need to go down there. Not much in the castle, unless you want a little bit of extra info from the books. We can finally explore the town a bit now. So we go to the left. Ah, uh, that's where it was. Okay. First, we want to go in here. Hmm. Kind of useless pipes. Hey, hey. Welcome to the pipe house. I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. Want to ask about pipes? Uh, sure, I guess. Which do you want to ask about? Uh, green pipes. Right, right. Green. Jump in. Another. Jump in a green pipe to walk to another green pipe elsewhere in this land. You just choose a green pipe you've jumped in before, and you warp to it. Easy peasy. So if you find a green pipe, you better jump in on principle. Seriously, just for a second. The more green pipes you jump into, the easier it will be to travel around the kingdom quickly. There are nine green pipes in all. Okay, got that. Can I stop there? Tell me more! Yellow pipes. Yellow pipes are for travel between the seafloor and the surface, or between above and below ground. There are lots of oh, there are lots in ocean and desert areas. So when you are in those regions, jump in the yellow pipes. Can I stop there? Ah uh, yeah, sure. See you later. Study a little on your own. Jeez, so salty. Oh yeah, we unlocked another green pipe. Alright. Wanna go over here. There's a little he hedge maze. Luckily it's not that complicated. Nothing hidden in here specifically. Do I wanna go to the left? No, I was right the first time. Up here. There doesn't seem to be anything, except for, like, five hidden items. We got who beans. I think that's the only way to get who beans. They're just hidden blocks. But I don't remember if there is a way to just easily find hidden blocks. I don't remember. Explore around town. Uh, let's see. Things are finally back to normal here in town. We kept really busy trying to rebrand, rebuild everything. Is there anything new in this shop? As you can see, this is a fashion house. Uh, 
uh, frequented by celebrities of all kind. But I offer prices you never expect from a high class boutique. What do we got? Okay, I already know about the first two. Bean, uh, Bean B badge. The most popular badge in the kingdom. Just like two extra attack power for Mario. Counter badge. Increases counter attack damage. Nah. Manager special. What a bargain. A lot of extra power for the trade off of BP. Interesting. Is there. Well, giving that to Luigi is not the worst idea. Unless I really want BP. Oh, wait. I forgot about the defense. Okay. Parasol pants. These boost def defense during battles. But I have less defense. I, I have less base defense than what I do now, but it gives me a defense up. Is it one of those that, like, it looks misleading, but the defense boost in battle is, like, double, so you get more? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. Hard pants. Uh, Starchy's pants. Stiff with bean juice. An extra 8 defense. But minus out on HP a bit. Honestly, like... I would want to know how this defense up works. Because this is one of those cases where it looks really misleading. And considering it costs way more money. Maybe the defense boost mid-battle is actually better? And it will be more than 50 defense. Let's see, heart jeans. Lovely heart-shaped patch. Okay. Less defense, more HP. That's it? Uh, not really... Not really that interested. Again, I don't know about the whole defense boost thing. As long as you wear clothes from this shop, you'll be known as a sharp-dressed man among men. What else do we got around town? Nothing beats a cup of every morning when you wake up. Without it, I think I just hate this town. Yes, the coffee shop. Hey, this is the famed Starbeams Cafe that everyone's a buzz about. Got any complaints? Complaints? Now. You already know about our special star bean system, right? The, uh, no. Correct. Right, listen up good as I explain it to you. The star bean system was cre star B system was created by Star Beans Cafe to expand our menu when you bring us beans. Here's the deal. Get rare beans by digging or battling or playing mini games. Then bring them here. We bring us new kinds of beans. We we'll add them to our menu and nefariously pa uh, patent them. Oh my God. <laughs> I never saw this joke. <laughs> Just steals the idea from us. Okay. By the way, at the moment, I'm needing these beans in these qual uh, quantities to expand my menu. Woohoo blend. Ho ho blend. Chuckle blend. Teehee blend. Ho uh, ho ho lumbian. Uh, chuck chino. Teehee espresso. The more my menu expands, the more customers will come here to partake in my wonderful bean juice. Will you join our Star Bee system? Sure. Righto, then show me the beans you've collected. What's your order? Let's take a look and see what we can make. Okay, we can at least do this one. We want to make one of each if we can. The Woohoo Bland. Whoa, a power outage. Oh man, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion GBA Port when? <laughs> Looks like the aroma of your new drink has drawn out all the ghosts in this place. Oh, I was wondering who could it be. If it isn't the beloved owner of our cafe, Professor E. Gad. Again, Luigi's Mansion GBA version when. Welcome to my Starbeams Cafe. See you, too. It, 
This is a most unexpected chance of chance meeting. Hey, you guys know the owner? That blending machine is our owner's latest invention. <laughs> Have you tried the drinks made by my latest invention? The wondrous bean bean machine. It is a it's stimulating flavor. Will put a spicy tingling in your cheeks. Yes, quite a tingling indeed. The rich aroma fragrance of that drink. I sense that it's a drink that even I haven't partaken of. May, may I have a drink? <laughs> a delicious, uh, delectably uh, bitter flavor. But one that makes me crave more. This stuff gives me the energy to push, uh, push my ghost research into new dimension. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sam. Here's a little something I invented to s in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. We got the greed wallet. <laughs> I hope you will continue uh, to frequent my fine cafe. I'm always happy to have friends partake in fine flavors produced by my bean bean machine. Nice cameo. Let's see if we can make an another uh, blend. Nope. Uh, back to menu. Can't do that. Chuck blend? No, not yet. Those are the ones that are underground. Tiki blend? We could do Tiki blend. But I think that's all we can do. Yeah, one Tiki blend. Mercy. Yeah, you know the fragrantly rich aroma. Oh, Professor Gad. We just now added this new drink to our menu. What great timing on your part. <laughs> it's not timing that brought me here. No siree. The scent of that new drink drew me in. Yep. From over the hills and across the sea, I came walking. Oh, wow, that's some nose you got. <laughs> now then, might I have a quick sampling of this new drink? Taste. Delicious. This may be the next big trick. You brewed well. Thanks for the sampling. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. We get the bonus ring. All of a sudden, I have a bad tummy ache. Perhaps this drink I just drank. It's the cause of this ache. For the proof that every rose has its thorn. Maybe you just drink too much. Uh, uh, um, where's the restroom? Boss, you never built any toilets in this place. Hey, why would you do such a thing? That's my poltergeist. That's my poltergeist 3000, three Lu Luigi. Are you planning on being the janitor around here? I thought it only affected ghosts. Who knew Egad must be a ghost? Well, I can't make any more. The benefit of making coffees, you want to make one of each at the very least. You get a new piece of equipment. But you want to make these because, as you can see, the Star Beam Blend will permanently increase your max HP by four. And those are the green ones. So as long as you grind the green, uh, the green beans, you can keep getting this. And Tee Blend, well, that's from mini games plus four stash. So you can per you can constantly increase your max HP and your mustache at the very least. Right, those items. Uh, let's see. We got the bonus ring. You can get. Uh, double EXP as long as you don't lose HP. I don't know if we really need that, but the greed wallet doubles the coins you get from monsters. That's something. That is something. Okay, uh, let's take a look around. The thing about this kingdom is that there are all kinds of beans buried deep in the soil. And if you see a strange hollow in the ground, there's almost always something under there. Of course, digging down to get stuff is such a pain that nobody ever bothers to do it. This room is nice, isn't it? It has a heater and a window and no old bath... Wait, it has a heater and a window, 
and no old bath or toilet. It's three years old and three seconds to the cafe. It's three years old and three seconds to the cafe. But as nice as it is, you can't have it. I just now rented it to that fellow over there. Er, once I was in, uh, once in a while, I get the urge to go nap under under a roof. Then I rent myself a room. Er, but even then, they're really big enough for me. Let's see. What else do we got? What's uh, what's down here? Say, have you heard? Oh, it's big news! Prince Beasley is supposedly risking his life on a dangerous secret mission. I gotta say, I'd be devastated if anything were to happen to him. I just adore that guy. Maybe I can help him on his next secret mission. If it's so secret, then how come everyone knows that he's on a secret mission? A lot of bugs decided to move into my old books, so I'm airing them out. It's cheap fumigation. Expose your books to sunlight and wind and it will keep the bugs away. In battles, the L and R buttons are useful for moving back to the previous menu. If you perform action commands with bros attacks, you can damage spiked creatures. Strike two foes simultaneously and gain other bonuses as well. Hmm. If you keep powering up the same ability when you level up, you won't get high bonus wheel numbers. In the ground in this kingdom, there are said to be pits that are invisible to the naked eye. When tiny people stand on top of these invisible pits, the tiny people will react strangely. Playing on Nintendo GameCube will cause the controller to react. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah, this game is actually compatible with the Game Boy Player. And I've never played this game through that, so... And perhaps this town's greatest intellect! At present, it is the ancient soybean civilization that has captured my focus and attention. Would you like to hear my report on this great civilization of yore? The ancient soybean civilization, the age of flying spin beans, tunneling mole beans, and fast-moving dash beans. Yes, all evidence point to this uh, advanced bean civilization once gracing this land. And as far and as for the whereabouts of the bean stones, the here to uh, heretofore hidden treasures of the soybeans, I've perhaps stumbled across something astounding, across some astounding facts related to this matter. I theorize this, that perhaps the bean stones were indeed buried and still rest beneath this very town. I desire so greatly to dig, uh, to dig this town uh, to, uh, down to its foundations, and even deeper if I must. Yet, how am I, so, how am I to even guess where to begin digging? Where the, mi where the mind recoils at the thought. I ask you this, how happy would I be if the two of you were to dig up these artifacts for me? Quite happy indeed! Of course, I could perhaps reward you. Could you find the jewels of the soybean civilization, the bean stones? Fascinating! You are bold specimens! I theorize that there are actually ten bean stones waiting to be unearthed. Yes, indeed. If you recover all ten for me, perhaps I might reward you. By the by, my theory suggests that the ancient soybeans were, perhaps, rather on the short side. Perhaps such information may provide you a clue of some sort in your beanstone search. This is a side quest that I was never a that I never figured out how to do. But with that last hint right there, as well as the hint book in the house. We could go ahead and try to start finding some. We need Mario to be tiny like this. Wait. Oh. We got something. See how the exclamation point is large? We got one bean stone. Now to explore a bit more. Walking around. There's five in this map. Oh, wait, I just saw something. Okay, this is something I've never actually done. Because I didn't know how to do this. Okay, we found 
to. Let's see. And if you're gonna do the side quest, you better make sure to do it sooner than later. This is missable. This is a missable side quest. Is there one down here? somewhere in this area. Yeah. Must be a spot I missed. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's five on this side. to the east side of the castle town. We couldn't make it here. <clears throat> we couldn't make it here before. The bridge was out. Look. Woohoo! University is the center of all scientific research in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Apparently, it's southeast of the town. Not that I've ever been there. I'll have to study up and become a researcher at Woohoo University. Uh, we'll go up there later. Let's see. Hey, Marker01, how's it going? Look, despite appearances, this is most definitely a shop. The product we detail is information. So would you like some quality information for only 100 coins? How about it? I don't know, I'm good. If you find yourself at a loss, drop by. We'll always have fresh, tasty information waiting for you. So right now we've gotten five of the of the soybean stones. Yo yo yo, bros! You two traveling dudes! I'm I am like hurting over here in a big big way, bros. Can't you help a bean out? Uh, sure. Seriously, bros. My little pet beanlets up and took off on me. Poor little dudettes. Dudettes. Really. If you can catch all five of them for me, I'll totally make it worth your while. You'll be like, SCORE! Beanlets are tiny and green and stuff, plus they're all around. You can't miss them, seriously. The thing is, they ain't, you know, super motivated. So no way those little dudes would have left town. Come on, bros, I know you guys can take care of business. Get your super on. And this is another side quest we can do now, but it's also missable, so it's best to do it sooner than later. Um, excuse me, guys. This is kind of a dumb question, but, um, you know when you jump on the other guy? Well, what if just then, when the other guy was about to get, you know, jumped on, what if he moved out of the way at the last second? What would happen? Don't you ever wonder? Not that I need an answer. I wouldn't spend too much time thinking about it or anything. That's a Wow, I didn't realize he hinted at that. Shh. For some reason, my grandpa has been saying really bizarre things lately. Maybe it's just his age, but he's so loud, there's no ignoring him. I bet if you press the L and R buttons simultaneously, you'll both, sw you'll both switch to the solo jump action. I bet that's useful for when there are little ledges you have to get up. Just a thought. So basically it just means, like, in this situation, you can just swap it immediately to the front. 
forgot about that detail. If there's ever anything you don't understand, you should ask the town's super expert. Of course, he doesn't give out super advice for free. I'm sure that he'll ask a little bit for that. But yeah, what's going on, Marker? We got one bean mitt. I'm pretty sure I've done this side quest. It's not that complicated. The most important thing to do when traveling overseas is save. That's right, you save. They say that Savy is the best traveler's insurance around. That it is. Especially when you have to jump the border. We got a super mushroom, we got a who bean. We got a syrup. On the island out to sea, on the right edge of the map, there is a place where you can learn hand powers. Did you know that? Uh, no. I, I suppose that makes sense. There's no reason you should know. In fact, I've only heard rumors of it myself. What kind of high-end powers? What do these hand powers do? If you ever get homesick for the Mushroom Kingdom, you should visit Little Fungi Town. It's a, ta it's a town built by immigrants from the Mushroom Kingdom. It's to the north of here, past Tihi Valley. Ah, uh, Little Fungi Town. Oh. Uh, why are they trying to escape the Mushroom Kingdom, you wonder? Who knows? over on this side, nothing. I, uh, we'll go up there a little bit. I just came here to get the bean lit. Do I talk, did I talk to everyone? No, I didn't. Supposedly, the shop in Little Fungi Town has lots of products that we don't carry here. Probably straight from the Mushroom Kingdom. Let's see. Uh, nothing too specific. We could buy one-up mushrooms, but I... I have ten. I don't I don't need any of this. I have plenty of syrups as well. Okay. Uh did I talk to you? Aren't you Mario and Luigi, the superstar brothers from the Mushroom Kingdom? Well, you're even cooler in person, but uh Prince Peasy is is way cooler than you. No offense. I think that's it. Three more beanlets, yeah. Okay. Let's go find the beanlets. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Give me a sec. You get that going. Alright. Ooh, one beanlet up here. Can you hide jump? Oh, you can! This ad currently playing. 30 seconds. Let's go find the others. I'll grab it here in a second. Another on a roof. And... Oh, where's the last one? Could be in the northern section, actually. Could be inside one of the houses. Yeah, the beanlets don't spawn unless you talk to the guy. I think you could get the beanstones without actually needing to talk to the old man. That has ended. Uh, just want to make sure that played through before grabbing the two beanlets that I found. There's this one. I need one more. One more beanlet. It wouldn't have left town. But I don't know if the like going up here counts as town or not. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. Get some coins. I'll talk to him later. We'll take care of that in a little bit. Okay, there's one more beanlet somewhere, but let's find the other five beanstones. There's five more on the east side. Just gotta find them. Wait. Right there. There's number six. Okay. Take a look around here. Nope, we're good. Four more to go, and then we can get all the beat beat stones. 
But yeah, uh, this game is compatible with the Game Boy Player. Apparently, when searching for the Beanstones, the controller will rumble. I didn't know that. But what's interesting about the Game Boy, uh, playing this through the Game Boy Player, is you can plug in multiple controllers, and all the buttons are, you know, will work on every controller. So you could play, uh, you could play Super Star Saga in co-op if you wanted to, if you went through the Game Boy Player. And I think that would be very interesting especially with trying to do blo uh, bros moves in co-op. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. I think we need to find two more. Oh, wait. I forget to do that first. I kind of wish it t tells you how many you've gotten already, but, you know, I think we're gonna, we only need one more. At least the maps aren't that big, so it's not like I'm really spending a lot of time hunting these. Oh, what about right here? No? Oh, you think. you think it would be right there. See any exclamations? Uh, no. Did I check over here? No. Okay, let's try this. I don't know if I was this thorough up here. Oh, wait, there it is. Right there. That should be it. Alright, we got all the bean stones. Let's go deliver it to the uh, to the old man. Hey old man, I found all the bean stones. Oh you have found all ten of the soybean sparkling bean stones! With this evidence, I can at last announce my hypothesis. Perhaps! Perhaps I should reward you for your endeavors. I believe that you will accept this reward I, pom I promised you. We get the, a bros rock. Okay. What does that do? Uh, bros rock. Hugely boosts power and bros points. That is a great reward. Wow. An extra 12 points in power. An extra, what, 14 in BP? Wow, that is really good. Oh, who do I hand this to? Actually, uh, Luigi will get more BP out of this, but Mario will get way more attack. Let's just make Mario the powerhouse. Can we give Luigi something better? Uh, unless I wanted, like, extra BP. I'm good. Okay. That's a great reward. That is a missable reward, so make sure to grab it. Uh, now there is one beanlet somewhere that I'm missing. Maybe I should check in, uh, check all the houses. So far, four of them were outside. Let's check all the houses and see if we can find the last beanlet. I don't remember if, if I have personally done, uh, got all the beanlets before, but oh, wait, it's behind this house. There we go. Okay, we found all five. That wasn't that bad. Okay, this is also a missable one. Yo, my poor little beanlet buddies. You got them all back for me. Yo, many thanks, bros. I'm practically crying. I'm so relieved these do uh, doodlets are safe. Anyway, right on, bros. Here's the reward I promised you. A golden mushroom. That is a missable reward, but is it any good? Max HP to 
Uh, it recovers max, max HP and Rose Point. So it's basically like a Mega Elixir. It's one of those too good to use items. That's nice. Uh, okay. I want to go up here. Spending a lot of time in Bean Bean Kingdom, but we can finally freaking explore it. Oh, yes, yes, you are perfect. How about a picture? Right, oh yes, let's, let's do it. I'll snap a great picture of you. Well, one picture taken, sure. Okay, one picture is 100 coins. Uh, sure, we need to redo Mario's. Oh, yes, yes, I'm taking it. Okay, stand there on the map. Come on now. Alrighty, when you are ready, stand still. Don't go pressing up, down, left, or right on the control pad to do some silly pose. Ready? Are you ready? Say cheap, cheap. There we go. We got Mario's passport updated. Now it looks a little bit more funny. Uh, and you can notice the background is different. Luigi's was in the Koopa Cruiser, and Mario's is at Baby Kingdom. We'll keep it like that for now. We may change to Luigi's later, but at least it's a goofy pose. I'll keep it. We're doing all that. Let's make a save. <laughs> Made two cups of coffee. Uh, finished two side quests, and updated Mario's profile picture. You know... That's a good, uh, that's a good way to spend 40 minutes. <laughs> Alright. Now let's actually explore around and head towards Woohoo University. University. Eventually. We'll get there eventually. Let's explore around the surrounding areas, though. Because there's stuff that may be hidden. Um, is this what I think it is? It is. I mean, look, that's a very suspicious uh, spot. There's obviously something in there, but uh, that's something we won't need for a while. I mean, we'll need it eventually, but, you know. At least you can get it this early. Up here is a work item. That way, if you wanted to kind of get closer to Woohoo Mountain, you know, you go through there. Let's explore around. We take this exit. We'll fight very strong enemies. Uh, let's see. Right. That guy can heal. We are getting rid of him. Uh, we need to just... I don't need to... Mario doesn't need to use Bros Attack, so we're still good. We'll just attack. Luigi still needs to use Knockback Bros. Wow! That's not that great. These enemies are way stronger if you went after them as soon as you had access to this area. But right now it's not that bad. Still could probably deal a lot of damage to you. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was cheap. I couldn't do anything about that. Let's just get rid of this guy. More knockback rows. Let's see. More woo beans, which we could eventually use. Can't get up there. What else do we got? Can't do anything about that. Eh, there we go. Okay. At least it wasn't count. Oh, bombs. I thought they would move faster. There 
are faster variants. Um, we do want to get rid of the paratrooper. Oh, oh Mario's stunned. Oh, Mario may be dead. Okay, no, he has <laughs> he has two HP left. Yeah, he's he's gonna need healing. He somehow ate it while being stunned. I don't know how. Come on, attack Luigi. You are stupid for doing that. You fool. Okay, you got a little bit of health back. Wow, Mario, you're just gonna take that? Now, I know Knockback Rose doesn't do enough damage, but I still need to use it. I think he's at full health. Wow. Okay, Mario, you need another heal. Yeah, I'll save the BP. Uh, that worked out. Too bad there wasn't any enemy there. There we go. More woo beans. Right. Get rid of the two. Timing was off. Okay. Might as well attack the two of you guys. Get rid of one. Timing is off. Perfect. I'm back. Perfect. More beans. More chocolate beans. Definitely start making a blend soon. I think I need like six. This will be easy. Perfect. I swear these guys are stronger, but I think I'm just too strong. <coughs> Level 16. What have we got? Mario's already being a glass cannon. We could boost his HP. Maybe he kind of has a few ones in there. Um, let's go ahead and boost HP. Looks like we got a lot of fours in there. Yeah, he kind of needs it. Sixteen for Luigi. What about uh, power? There seems to be a decent amount of fours in there. Speed, not so much. Defense, eh, kind of average. BP, nope. There's a lot of ones. Let's try power. There we go. That's nice. That's a nice level. More knockback. Luigi, when are you gonna get your advanced technique? To be, uh, this, it's moments like this where I wish there was a like a dog, like a guard command or something, so that way I could just swap to Luigi and work on. Me. Advanced move. It was moments like that. But in general, I don't really see that much of reason to actual dart and waste a turn. Oh, I didn't time it right. 
You gotta make sure to time your jumps right. They can trip you. They go sweep, uh, sweep the foot. There we go. Still no advanced technique. over here. Can't do anything on that side, so there's kind of no point. Oh, there was a hidden bean. Grabbing that. Kind of need more of those. Oh, I forgot one other thing we can do for achievement. Uh, I think we'll do that a little bit later. But there is one other thing we can do. We can do it at any time. So it's not that bad. Ah, I'm only getting the one in KOs when I get the first strike. Man, attack Mario for once. Well, at least I get another knockback. Might as well heal up. Everyone's kind of low on health. Now, yeah, zero. Yeah, I just want to do it. Okay, on the east side. Oh, the Lakitu. Right. But first, let's go this way. Time to shrink Mario. He's on his own, on his own little adventure. Platforming challenge. Uh, but I failed. There we go. Here. Okay, we actually want to go up this way. Skip that, uh, Monty Mole. Over here, we get a second Monty Mole. Congratulations! Excellent job making it all the way here. Let's com uh, commemorate the moment with this. Thank you, please. We get the high-end badge. You want even more commemoration? Well, aren't you a greedy one? No more for you. I think there is that other reward we could go get. Let's go see. That's on me being impatient. Okay, let's talk to you. Congratulations! Excellent job making it all the way here. Let me give you this. A one up mushroom. Sure. Yeah, you want it. Go over the top. Do this. Okay, what was that badge? Is it what I think it was? Uh, high-end badge. Auto boost POW once per battle. So it gives you a power buff. I would, again, I would like to know how much a power or a defense buff mid-battle actually gives you. Because I don't know how much of a benefit it actually is. Get rid of the Lakitu. Mario, get rid of this guy. Luigi. Knock back. That works. Perfect. There, and we stop more enemies spawning. I mean, uh, come on, that, that is very suspicious. Again, you don't have to get those now. In fact, you're not even pointed in that direction until later. But you can get them at any time. It doesn't hurt anything. Valley BBK. 
castle. Can't do anything about that. Uh, nope. Let's try going up and around. Right. Which pair of true guys? Okay, where this leads. Oh, uh, something I can't do. Oh, I think I know where it goes. Is there something I missed up here? Did fully explore it. Okay, there, I kind of fully explored it. Not much here. Okay, down here. We got a green pipe. Again, there's nine in total. Um, is that a high jump point? Yes. There we go, another triple beam. I don't need to fight the bombs. Yeah, we can't do anything about this. Is that another lack of two? I think it is. Oh no. Great. Perfect. Just what I need. Not that it matters. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a lack of P. Not a lack of two. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah. There, we finally got the advance command. We'll test it out. But other than that, we don't need Brian. Uh, is that where I want to go? That's too woo hoo University. I don't want to go there just yet. We're gonna explore the... Go to the other side and to go south. We're gonna explore other air, the surrounding areas before we go to the areas. Oh, that was a mouthful. Nothing else I need to buy. Because I know there's more stuff I did explore. Like over here. Okay, that looks suspicious. Chuckle bean. Forgot, like, that's an indicator. We go over here, Luigi has his own little adventure. Congratulations! Excellent job making it all the way here with me. Uh, give you this prize. A golden mushroom. Great. So useful. I mean, it is an elixir. So, it, in that case, it is useful. I don't think we can get those items along, so... South this time. And uh, avoid this beam. Okay, let's try knockback rows. I forget how to do the advance, so we'll just do this. Alright! That's pretty strong. I think you can just keep that going for a little while. That's a strong one. Let's see. Anything else around here? Yeah, that, that one's really useful. I still think Chopper Bros, its base version might be stronger than its uh, advanced version. There we go. Another green pipe. Hit with another tackle. I mean, we could do just that, Hawkhorn Dog. We could just... Uh, dude, just that. How's it going? Uh, you haven't missed all that much. I got a few achievements. I, I went back to 
I basically started the game over on a different file to get uh, beat Bowser without getting eggs. But other than that, uh, we just really been exploring around and seeing what we could find. Is that something? Okay, never mind. Nothing here. Basically getting equipment and stuff like that. Exploring around town. Let me see if I can practice this. B A. Just keep alternating. Doesn't really matter when fighting those guys alone, but against bosses, that's gonna. Might as well max everything out, because I don't really need to grind. But yeah, you haven't missed that much, Hotcorn Dog. There were a couple side quests in Bean Bean Kingdom, like the town, where uh, they were missable. Finding the the bean stones and the beanlets, those were missable side quests. I took care of them right now. All right, your Marvel Strike Force thing. I thought they were all lined up. Dang. Let's try that again. Okay, what's up here? Uh, so besides the beginning, we're on track with giving every achievement. Yeah, pretty much. I had to go back and get that Bowser one. But yeah, we're on track. And I think we've taken care of all the missables. There aren't many. Before we head south, is there anything else around here? What's over here? Uh, nothing I can do. Don't know why that little spot is there. Okay, that is suspicious. Oh, let's do this first. Oh, right. I know what I can do. Okay, wait a minute. How many chuckle beans do I have? We can make another blend. Oh, do we want to go back? Uh, it will be a while before I go back to the... You know what? That's not a bad idea. It's on this side. Back at the beach. I don't know if there's anything else down here. Yeah, I've dug, I've now dug up enough enough uh, chuckle beans to the point where I think it's a good idea to head back to town, make a new bean blend. And by the way, this is suspicious. Right in the middle. Right in there. There we go. Bean fruits. That'll be for later. Yeah, I got enough chuckle beans, so let's go back into Bean Bean Kingdom. And make that new blend. And then we'll go to Wuhu University. We'll do this first. It won't take that long. Let's make another uh, coffee blend. We'll just go with Chuckle Blend. We make the coffee, then they patent our ideas. We got the chuckle blend. Once again, I've come from afar because of the scent of a new kind of bean juice. Hey boss, what's with that weird vacuum? 
This is a highly improved model of the Poltergeist 3000. It's the Super Poltergeist 3001. If you just if you just got to know the improvements I've made, it can now be written like this, and it's incredibly speedy. Bean coffee. I mean, coffee is already beans, so it works out. It's nothing too out outlandish. With this, I can now go anywhere I want with ease. Didn't we suck you up in a vacuum? All right then. I have a quick sam. I'll have a quick sampling of this new drink. Yeah, yeah. Streamlabs, you know, took that, stole that win. It's kind of rigged. My body and soul are melting into the syrupy sweetness. I better not drink more, or else I too might become a ghost. Thanks for that sample. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll ill aid me. We got the Excite Spring. What shall I invent next? So, the sad part about these, uh, little cutscenes right here, all of them are in EGAD, which that by itself is not the problem. Is that, uh, hold on. What does the Excite Spring do? It holds the button to float on defense, so if you're trying to jump dodge, you can hold the button down and just kind of float there. It's not, it's okay. <clears throat> but the, the thing about these rewards from EGAD was only supposed to give you one of these. Originally, other Nintendo characters were supposed to come in and give you these. Wario was supposed to come in and uh, drink coffee and give you the greed wallet. Although, although, it doesn't make sense why Wario would do that, but whatever. The bonus ring Star Fox was supposed to come in, and he gives you this. And Excitebike was supposed to uh, show up and give you this. The sprites are in the code but it was never implemented. I don't know why they decided to not go through with it. And there were more cameos that were supposed to show up. We'll get them eventually. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, it's all just EGAD in the, in the normal game. Which EGAD is supposed to normally make a cameo, but only for like one of them. You can pass, or so I've been instructed to say. <laughs> you can pass. Yeah, they really are reluctant to let us through oh, to the no. university. But yeah, luckily, uh, we're done with the grinding for uh, Rose Power, so we can just save it for boss fights. That's nice. Uh, okay. Woohoo University. I remember this place, oh, well, no. not the dungeon itself, but I remember the boss of, of uh, Woohoo University being a roadblock for me. It was rather tough. With a very cheap uh, gimmick. And honestly, it's very hard to tell. We'll get there eventually. I'm getting ahead of myself. There is a limited amount of jungle beans, sadly. Oh, what does the coffee... Plus four speed. It's a permanent boost. That's something to think about. But again, you can grind for the HP and the... and the stash boost. Grind for those if you want. Woohoo, University to the right. Anything up here? Yes! Super Syrup and the Coin Block. But yeah, I think the, from after finishing those two side quests in the Bean Bean Castle or town. Plus the two side quests at the very beginning of the game, or the achievements at the beginning of the game, I think we've taken care of all the missiles. This game doesn't really have that many moments where there's something missable, so I think we kind of lucked out there. Let's go ahead and make a save. Been a little bit.
Alright, time to go in here. Eek! Run! All the all the scientists are running away. Someone left behind! Vladda and her crew snuck into the Who University. They transformed all the Who University's professors into monsters. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. Including himself. This is a laser snippet. Okay. And it dies in one hit. I'm too strong. Well, all the enemies in here in this, or at least all the Sniffets anyway, were once professors of this very fine university. This is where we need to go, but we can't do anything about it right now. We have to explore the rest of the university to open this door. Some high tech security right there. No one can get past that electric uh, electric gate. Clearly. No one can just go into the other room. Syrup, super mushroom, okay. My morality is questioned now, because if we fight these guys, we're just taking out real people. Real bean people. I I'm so conflicted about doing this. Okay, so the thing about the laser snippets, can't really get into it when I keep killing them in one shot. Oh, right, th those guys. Let's ignore the snippet for a second. The Yo Bro. Okay, now he's this close, you don't jump. If he's farther away, you jump. Uh, I got time to jump a little bit better. It's easy to... With the yo bro, it's easy to tell, but I just jumped a little too soon. Pretty simple. I'm getting a lot of money. Okay, hold on. There's something else we could do? Oh, wait a minute. Who knew that hidden within the floorboards is a chuckle bean? But yeah, there is something else we can do. We do this. Luigi's holding out on us. I don't know where he's hiding this money. But this is adding to our actual, like, coin counter. He's holding out on me. That's... I have never seen that animation on him. Oh, I see why. I see what's happening. Okay, so there's an achievement tied to that. We need to hit him like a hundred times? And get coins out of it? But it drops his HP, so, um... We can't, we can't just spam that. I didn't realize that. We need to uh, get Luigi to have more than 100 HP. <laughs> just to get an achievement tied to that. Good to know. But that is something you can do if you ever need money. Just, you know... Hit you Luigi's jump when he tries to jump on you. Because that's clearly what's happening. You can see it in Luigi's face. Apparently you can't uh, get the achievement if you have max coins, so that's why I was trying it right there. Okay, that little uh, 
flutter jump thing is how is the sight spring right there. It didn't really keep me in the air that much. But in case you feel like you've jumped too soon. Level 17 now. What can we boost? Uh, HP seems okay. Uh, not BP. Power's okay. Defense? Maybe defense. Actually, maybe speed. Maybe speed. Just kind of glancing through and see if there's good numbers, you know? 17 for Luigi. What do we got? So HP has pretty good numbers. BP has a few ones in there. I think we should definitely go for power. I see a lot of fours. There we go. Alright, new enemy. It's the viruses from Dr. Mario. And this guy. I did not time that right. Oh no, Mario's poisoned! But ignore that for now, let's attack a virus. If you match them up, they all die. Just like Dr. Mario, clearly. Oh wait, Mar uh, I think Mario was cured after that battle. Again, you can make an argument that I did a lot of grinding from random enemies, but this game is also super easy. <laughs> oh no, he's going for an attack buff. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, another attack buff. I probably don't even need to fight these guys. I don't know. Alright, okay. Rose block. Move the arrows in the direction when the characters match in. Cover the block. The rose block is merely a prototype. So striking it will not produce coins. In case you really just want to practice. In case you want to practice, I guess. And also, it seems like they were made here. And here we got uh, question mark rocks from all over other Mario games. Lock uses Super Mario Bros. Made of secret material from the Mushroom Kingdom. Metallic appearance is quite popular. Lock used in Super Mario World. Made of light, shiny materials. Somewhat shock absorbance. Block used in Super Mario 64. Currently analyzing the new technology that makes it vanish when struck. Block used in Paper Mario. Appears to be made of soft material, but it's actually quite hard for professionals only. There's nothing here. Probably the ones for this game. That's probably what that is. Rally block. Get this movie block in pairs to rally with it. This rally block is merely prototype. Random block uh, produces coins. Random block is merely a prototype. Let's test these out. You can't just mash both jumps at the same time. Yeah, the famous blocks of the Super Mario series. Yes, all four of them. All four of the famous blocks. Which, let's be honest, there aren't that many Mario games. Although, doesn't, like, Super Mario 3 have a different, uh, block look to it? At this time, that's actually probably about the total amount of blocks that are unique, right? The other arguments would be Super Mario Bros. 2 and 3, maybe? Because I don't think Yoshi's Island haven't had anything. So, actually, no, that, I think this lines up. Uh, that's about right now that I think about it. 
Anyway, time to fight more viruses. Yeah, Marker, have you played this game before, or any of the Mario & Luigi games? I have personally played uh, all of them, except for the, the two remakes on 3DS. Yeah. Okay, yellow turns to red. Never mind, I'm too strong. Way too strong for these viruses. Oh! You can get more than a thousand coins. It must be 9,999. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Too bad I can't counter these guys. I could just try using Luigi's advanced high jump one. Hit multiple enemies, but I don't know how strong that actually is. It doesn't seem that strong. Not even against single targets. I guess he got to attack twice now. Ugh. Did not get the timing right. Don't need the refreshing herb because apparently you get you get cured of poison after battle anyway. So just get good. Finish the fight quickly. Mario, you're way too strong. I got nothing out of that. Uh, I want to go... This is dead end. Okay. Grab that. We got a nut. We got a mushroom. We got a blue bean. Kind of seemed like there'd be another one here somewhere. Get another chuckle bean. Not my favorite types of blocks, honestly. I rather actually do the rally block. But it seems to last a while. There we go. That's done. What do we got? More viruses! Yeah, I think Luigi's the only one that actually has a uh, multi-target. Uh, think about it. I think, now that I'm thinking about it with the bros moves, Mario's all oh, single no. target. Luigi can hit multiple targets. Now I'm really thinking about it. Oh yeah, keep it going. And we want... Blue to yellow. There we go. Failed the jump command just to get them both right now. General service room, we want the sun door. We can't go into that room anymore. Oh. Gotta take out another po professor. Gotta get rid of him. He's evil now. There's no there's no fixing him. There's no cure, I swear. It's not like I never looked. 
I have never searched for a cure, so I'm gonna say there isn't one. Alright, these Chain Chomp enemies. Mecha Chops. Let me get rid of the Snippet first. Mecha Chops are a little interesting. I got the Tommy wrong, but because of the Sight Spray, I managed to make it work. There's enough timing there. However, you see that one's malfunctioning. That's, I'm gonna leave that one alone for a second. Fine, they're both malfunctioning now. Okay, so now it's green, but he attacks Mario now. So when he's normal, the color indicates who he's gonna attack. If it's malfunctioning, the color means the opposite one. Just in case that will get you off. Level 18! Man, it feels like I get levels very quickly. What can we boost? HP's not bad. He's okay. Nah, not power. Defense? Let's boost defense. And we only got two. Level 18 for Luigi. see some ones with BP. Power's okay. Maybe defense? No, we're boosting speed, I think. Yeah, I think we should boost speed. Eh. Just okay. Oh, uh, what did this say? Sundor release code. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, blue on the two left. Okay, let's see if I can memorize that. So, blue, blue, those are blue. And then over here, the blue one was... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's what it currently is. That's what it needs to be. So, a red seven, red square. Okay, red square. Then red seven. That's how I memorize it. There you go. I was confused why there were two. We got the beam of light shining through the entire Who University. Except right there, it stops right there. I don't know why that opens the door. Is there a switch in that mirror? Or did or did the door just decide, nah, it should be open now? Yeah, I did not time that right. Okay, let's focus on yellow. Now it's all blue. Perfect. And so many viruses. Yellow. And done. Come on, get over here. Yellow, blue, same thing. Easy. Okay, first, let's get another bean. Oh, we got a rally block. See how much I can get. I feel, 
I don't remember my like my personal best for these. Not like it keeps track of anything. These could get pretty quick. Uh, 23. Okay. Oh, you can do it again. I don't need to. Wait. Hold on. Another bean. Here, you get another bean. Can't go in there just yet. We need to go this way. Yeah, nothing up there just yet. We need to go in here. Do that opens that door. Closes that one. Flip that switch. Swaps the two back around. Let's go. Oh no, we're both trapped, but this pops up. Jump using the A and B buttons to hit the blocks as they move to score points. Get 30 points in 25 seconds or less, the door will open in the next area. Yeah, they move at different speeds. I don't think this uh, ever, like, I don't think this type of minigame ever comes back. Like, I can only think of this minigame in this game. It's not that hard. There we go. Got it. And both doors open as well as that one. Oh, why'd I do that? I'm dumb. Grab this. I thought there would be another hidden one. Nothing in it, or so it seems. You think there's uh, nothing in here, but in all reality, there's some hidden blocks. One right there. Is that it? That might be it. That might be all the hidden blocks in here. Who oh, bees? Might be able to make a new blend. Luigi, turn back to normal. This. Here. There we go. Flip that switch. Uh, another side room that we need to go through. all the enemies are cleared out. Definitely helps. Makes things easier on the way back. For, uh, so over here. I might as well make a save. It's been a little bit. There's a lot of enemies we fought. So many beans hidden in the floorboards. I don't know if that's a good place to keep some beans. Uh, we can't do anything here. We go left. Mm -hmm. Alright, up and around, I guess. 
more viruses. Now we attack the beaver. Over here, um, we hit this to make a barrel appear. Go down here, get rid of, get rid of this guy. Perfect. Most of the time they make you jump. I, they rarely uh, go. Uh, go. They rarely get close to you. Jeez. I know Luigi did different damage to the blue and the red virus. Do they have different defenses? Mushrooms are 25, Super Mushrooms are 50. Well, right now, Super Mushrooms are basically a full heal, so... Wait. Uh... Okay, no, we don't want to go this way. We need to go to the right and go back the way we came. If you were to try to use this, see, so you do this, but it goes at an angle. This is a statue goes up. Doesn't work. Okay. Not the right route to go. We need to do this. Spin. Hit that switch. Mario gets to go through a maze. Uh, is there? No, you can't get through that. Okay. If that's uh, if that plug is open, you can't walk through. You have to go around. Wait. Okay. Uh, and hit the switch. Get plugged in and another barrel. Let's head back. There we go. Now we head back to the barrels. This barrel go stand here. Short circuit the box. The crane starts moving. Oh no! It grabs Luigi. Now it's just Mario alone. Whatever shall he do to handle this? He can't fight on his own, except he totally can. He's really strong. We get refreshing herb, a syrup, and a mushroom. Now it's time for a game of Donkey Kong. Although Donkey Kong's on here. There we go. Make sure to try not to jump on the ledges themselves. The angle's off. Whatever shall we do to get him out of here? It's pathway. Go, Luigi, you got this. I hope 
he's keeping his lunch in right now. One more side room before the main door. Luigi, Mario. Well, at least we didn't have to like uh, re-explore that entire section just to get back here. They basically cut over here. That's nice. Continuing on. And here we go. Side room number three. Oh, what does this say? Formula for distance spitting. Rear, hammer, front, water, uh, forward spit. Effective in hitting object, uh, distant flames and objects in water. Oh, Mario got fat again. Fan on, moves the block. Make him spit out the rest of the water. That was a quick side room, honestly. Now we can finally go back to the main room. Getting close. Flip the switch. There's Peach Box. Preparations have completion. Oh, great Kekletta. Unleash the voice of Princess Peach on the Beanstar when you are wanting to. <coughs> <coughs> the moment when all the world will bow down to me has come at last. Uh, we gotta rush through. Looks like we're showing up just in time. That's... Save. And before we actually start the fight, I'm going to say this. One, the boss music itself hits pretty hard in the second half. And two, this was a roadblock for me when I was younger. L you'll see. <laughs> Peach Rocks! Peach Spots! Speak! I can speak. Oh no! The, the Bean Star is angry. But I thought Peach's voice was supposed to make it, you know, wake up and be nice. Huh? What happened? What is this? I have fright. A situation we have had, we had not suspected, had begun to d d d develop. May we flee? May we flee? Yeah! Pess, loathsome pests. And at the worst possible moment, we don't have time to deal with you fools. Oh yeah, got rid of Fafo. Yag. <laughs> well, won't this be fun? Oh yes. If that's how it is. I'm ready for you. I'm gonna knock you all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. There we go. A fight with Cacoletta. A little early, don't you think? Don't worry. Okay, this is the move I'm thinking of. Which is the real Cacletta? No, seriously, which one's the real one? Guess, cause I don't know. Let's just take a guess and hit this one. Oops, that was wrong. Now we gotta deal with bats. And here's like the second half of the song. Okay, two cat lettuce. Let's see, let's try this one. Oh, that's wrong. Seriously, the clones are perfect. There's no way to tell. Okay, we got the real one left. Well, now we got a moment. Let's go ahead and shut the bros. Right, they will hit you no matter what. 
There's one where she'll throw up both arms. Okay. Let's try the uh, dance move. Uh, I did not time it right. Not enough practice. I have a feeling this is... Oh! <laughs> I messed up. Okay. That's hilarious. Okay, which one's the real one? I... No, seriously. Which one's the real one? I I'm, I'm being dead serious here. Which one is the real one? I think it's the middle. Nope, it's not the middle. Supposedly there is a way to figure out which one's the real one, and it's when they spawn. Do you think the right one? Oh, it was the right one. Oh, clones again. Actually, this one might be the right one. No? I don't know. Which one's the real Cacoletta, hot corn dog? Take a guess. Or, uh, Marco, whoever wants to take a guess, which was the real Cacoletta? Yeah, sometimes you'll just find the clone, and then she'll just be like, nah, you gotta find the clone again. And you are right. You are right about that, hot corn dog. That is rigged. It is very cheap. Which one's the real Cacoletta? Take a guess. I'm being, I'm being dead serious here. Do you think there might be something off about the sprites? Like maybe there's one pixel, there's like one pixel that's off, or middle, or maybe like the animation is a little bit off. No, they're perfect clones. Nope, it's not the middle. They are perfect clones. And sometimes there'll be a bat in the middle just to try to throw you off. All right, I'll take a guess on the middle, uh, on the left one. Nope, it was the right again. There we go. That's all of her attacks. I did not time it right. Tenacious little boys, aren't you? I'm too busy for such games. Time for this to end. We're almost done with this fight. We're in the final phase. You know what? I'll fall through this. To show it off. So Luigi has a weight now. I don't think that matters with the excite screen, though. So what that means is... I... When you do a dodge or a jump attack, you have more weight. So you might have an attack boost. I don't remember if that's true, but uh, you definitely fall faster. You have more gravity, so it's harder to dodge. She's dead. Level 19! Again, that fight gave me a lot of trouble when I first played this. And it's really the clones just wasting my time. And I'm being dead serious here. There's no way to tell once the clones have spawned. I think there is a way to tell which Cacoletta it is, but it's like, it has to do when it's the shadows in the ground, and which one pops up first, or the, or the shadow pulsating is different. I don't know. It is so hard to tell which one's the real one, that if you're not paying attention, and it's, even if you are paying attention, it's not an easy way, thing to figure out. Cacoletta is basically most likely going to take a hit, or dodge a hit or two. Uh, 
let's go ahead and boost. So defense doesn't look that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. How could this happen? Kekleta, do not have worries. Watch, I am sucking you up, uh, sucking up your energy with this headgear. Oh, 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 Fafa! Give them one final attack for me. S I say to you, yes! We could take him. Oh, it's the prince! He's come to save the day. I'm not joking when we said we basically just killed Cap. She's now a soul. Now, quickly, to the fallen bean star. What? The bean star heard Princess Peach's voice and went mad. But why would Princess Peach's voice drive the bean star mad? I sense a surprising secret at the center of this riddle. I shall explain it all in detail once we have safely recovered the bean star that has fallen below. You two must go to the bottom floor immediately. Well, let's go get the bean star, I guess. Again, Cackletta, like, really gave me a lot of trouble when I first played this. Now I wish this game had, like, a hard mode because these fights are really easy. <laughs> And I don't even think I'm overleveled. It's just when you boost up the right stats enough. And even then, it doesn't take that much. And then spam grows moves. It really doesn't take that much. It's just the HP of the bosses is just not that high. Or something. Oh, I don't like those blocks. I'm not dealing with that. Luckily, there isn't, like, any achievement for hitting every block or anything, so that's not something I need to worry about. Uh, basement. Just a few more enemies. Now, we'll get rid of the snippets first. There's no way to counter them. No, it's malfunctioning. was about to lunge at me. We want yellow to red. What's this guy's name? Eker. I never looked. Yeah, it's Eker. Level 20. Wow, that didn't take much. What can we boost? Looks like a bunch of HP. Doesn't seem that great. Power seems like a good thing to boost right there. Same thing with defense. Kind of looks like there's a few balls in there. Honestly, power doesn't look that bad. There's a few fives there. Oh my god, we got a five. Level 20. What can Luigi boost? HP doesn't look that bad. I don't know about BP. Strength? It kind of seems like there's some low numbers in there. We can really boost defense. I'm not liking speed. We'll boost defense. Yeah! 
Luigi is the best tank of all. Like, these stats get really insane when you get the right numbers, or, you know, just really good stat uh, bonuses. Which I really hate that they got rid of the disability in Paper Jam. For some reason, I think I think it's only in Paper Jam. They took out the ability to just give an extra boost to one of your stats. For some reason, I don't know why. I I'm pretty sure that's the only game that had that got rid of it. I really hope uh, the new game brings it back, because that's the fun part about uh, about the series. You can literally, if you want to, play the entire game while only trying to boost one stack. It's not the same as, like, you'll still get stat boost in other things as you level, but putting the extra bonus points in uh, other stats is nice. School Emblem! I... Hmm. That must be a rare drop. Something. School Emblem. A school of the Hooniversity, or a symbol of the Hooniversity. Five more power, but minus two BP. Honestly, that's a good trade-off. That's a good trade-off. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a good one. I'm not sure if it's the Sniffits or the Chain Chomps. Which I dropped that. I'm, I, I would say it's the Sniffits. Uh, yellow to red. Yellow to red. And no matter what, I'm gonna have to do something like that. Red to yellow, or blue to yellow. That works. Virus, get out of here. I did not time it right. Alright. Hey, Luigi, you got this. Man, I didn't even time it right. Now they die. That's weird. They have to be turned into the color for them to die. They can't just naturally already be that way. If you notice, when I killed the top one, but the other two colors were the same, they stay. They did not die. They just got to attack. Chain Chomp, go! Attack Mario. You know, the one that actually has could deal more damage. Smart move, I swear. We're almost done. We're almost done with this area. See, I am just too strong. School slacks for Luigi. School slacks. Uh, wear these to always attack after Mario. Little less HP by five. Two more defense. What is... Always attack after Mar- I don't know what that means. I don't remember if I ever got these items- uh, got this piece of equipment. I want to check- I want to try this. Huh. Does it mean that- You know what it probably means? Uh... It probably means there won't be an enemy, uh, the enemy won't get to attack immediately after Mario. It's, I think it's a way for Luigi to almost always get his turn before the enemies. So that way you only need to focus on speed with Mario. I think that's what that means.
nice wrong. See, got it wrong. Got it right. There we go. Ad is going to start here in a second. I'm going to let it play and refill my water. I'll start a battle royale after I get back, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and go refill my water now. Ad's going to start here in a second anyway. Be right back. start that. Battle Royale starting. Ad has 35 seconds. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, 20 seconds. Oh. Okay. Uh, 10, 10 seconds. I'll just walk around for a second and then we'll move on. And 3, 2, 1, add stuff. Okay. In the generator, there's, there's this chuckle beam. Is there another one over here? There is up here. Oh no! Poppo and Rookie again! The Beanstar suddenly came falling down out of nowhere. It was so shocking, see? But happy treasure fall out of the sky sure is very lucky. Yeah, that's right. Very lucky. Only Poppo and the, sh the Shadow Feet could get such results, see? You're amazing, boss. Rookie? Yes, boss. But unless my eyes are screwy. Look there! It's red and green from the chateau! Yahoo. We didn't spend that much time away from them, did we? I almost feel like we need another dungeon between when we see them again. Well, boo! Boo to you, I say! Why does this always happen? It isn't funny, see? Rookie! Yes, boss. These two numbskulls seem to like the old ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Time to scrap again, see? Yes, boss. I like how we just put the bean star out of the way so we can have, so we can fight. All right, round two with Popo and Rookie. Honestly, it's the same fight, and because it's the same fight, uh, I did not do that right. I was trying to do the advance command. Again, you want to consider going after Popo. Because 
again, kind of like last time, uh, if you defeat Rookie first, Papa will run away. Okay, and Papa's done. That didn't take long. It's, a, it's not a hard game. Oh my god. I know, I know the damage is going down the more you successfully do this. Okay, it does. it's not endless. But my god. <laughs> that is ridiculous. And I did not time it right. I'll just I'll do the advance again. Or fail. That works too. Honestly, it's sometimes funny to fail. Again, getting rookie first means uh, you don't have him a counterattack every time you counter Popple. But uh, if you kill him first, Popple runs away. And he's done. Easy. You know what sucks? Uh, <laughs> because I killed Popple too fast. We didn't get to see their team up moves. Yeah, they have their own bros moves. Oh no, our treasure. It's gonna fly away, see? How does Beanstar get bigger? And we're out of here. Up to the sky! Wow. Oh no, we can't hold on! Oh, I remember! I remember! Uh, I am... I am... Bowser the King! And he's got his memory back. Oh no, the Beanstar has broken into four pieces. You'd think it would be like five, but oh well. East Bean Bean Kingdom, Oho Oasis. Oh no, Mario's being attacked by crabs. Mamma mia. It's not doing that much damage. Such a good song. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so the team up move that we missed because I took out Popple too fast. Uh, Bowser, or Rookie, whatever, uh, grabs Popple in one hand, spins, a, spins him around, jumps in the air, and slams Popple's head into the ground, causing a shockwave. Uh, that's the move we missed out on. We'll tape machines here. Will you play it? Yes. It has been weeks since our Oho Civilization Research Expedition reached this island. We have named the mysterious creatures native to this island the Ho Ohoji. It is strange. They use the same spoken vocabulary that we do, but none comprehend what they mean. Let's take a look around the island. I don't tell no big I don't tell no one big secret of Stonewall Southeast region of Island. No one, no. Now how offering up the fire and and the brimstone to the hole in the wall makes things happen. I don't never tell nobody that. No way, no how, no. You get nothing. Right. Our spirit's delicious. Could jump on the crabs. That's fun. That's a fun thing to do. Ah, uh, rally block is just for coins. I'm good. Are we strange? Why do these guys make me think of, like, Mr. Saturns? From, uh, the Earthbound games. 
definitely giving me Mr. Saturn vibes. How much is a chance? Asking the real questions here. Are these guys just secret secretly very deep in philosophy? If this Oho Oasis is far out in Oho Oho oh, oh, Ocean, then that means what that means. Tape machine, let's play in them. It has been three weeks since our research ex expedition arrived here. The time it speeds by. Today we made a most surprising discovery. We approached the a red Ohoji and happened to ignite it in the in a bizarre accident. The moment this red Ohoji was touched by the flames, it turned into a monster. This monster Ohoji attacked us and might as might any creature that dislikes being set on fire. That is very true. Unfortunately, the researcher who was attacked then transformed into an Oho Ohoji. We must conclude that it is best not to approach an Ohoji if one plans to set out a, a fire. Rather, it is better to stand a short distance away and then set fire to it if one wishes. Surely the blue Ohoji will respond to some sim stimuli and also transform into monsters. It may invite trouble, but clearly, this must be researched more. Science demands it! The science demands we must set these guys on fire. Me trouble. I can't make machines speak. This fireplace. That way, Thunderbolt. Or Fire Palace, Thunder Palace, okay. I tired. Okay, nothing over here. We need to go on this side. What what you do if you meet Big Firebrand in room up ahead? Huh? What you do? Only Mario can go in here. I am me. You are you. Let's break this, you know, stone monument. Because that's a smart thing to do to a, you know, Aztec ruin, basically. Welcome, yes, welcome. Welcome to the Fire Palace. I have been waiting for you. I have waited many long years, smoldering like embers. For you, I have kept waiting and waiting and waiting. In fact, the last time anyone came through here was 3,000 years ago! Oh, waiting just burns me up! But enough of that. So, why have you come? Huh? You, uh, this place? Um, this place of power? It is, uh, this place is... Now, wait a second. Just what kind of place it was this, anyway? What was it that I was planning on doing? Am I allowed in here? Uh, wait just a minute. Where am I? Who am I? Hmm. I guess having no guests for 3,000 years takes a toll. Everything just seems to slip one's mind. Hardy hard. How humorous. So, I guess you can do what you want. I won't stop you. Hmm. Maybe if I put my hand on the sword. Ah! Mario is now gaining the pi the power of fire. Oh, wait! I just remembered. This is the flame the famed fire palace where we teach the ways of the blistering hand power. Yes, it is all coming back. I've been waiting for you. You want the hand power, right? You want to master the fiery hand power known as the firebrand, do you not? You do, right? 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 You do not need to tell me. Your pose says it all. I shall instruct you in the arts of the firebrand. First, press the R button to select your hand power. the A button until you have charged up enough energy, then release the button. Only then shall you shoot forth a mighty blast of flame. Perhaps you should try it once. Hey, 
We have mastered the firebrand. I see no problem with your skill. If you just do this action near something flammable, you should have no problems. Surely this skill will open new paths in your life. Wouldn't you agree? So, farewell. Mario now doesn't need a fire flower. Why why have a flower fire flower when he just has the firebrand? He doesn't need that type of power up anymore. This is way better. This is actually permanent. Except until we get to the next game. We'll set the guy we'll set the Ohoji on fire. Just a little later. Is there anything over here? Let's, oh, hidden block. A ho, a ho beam. All right, let's go to the other palace. There is a, there's another one up here. This is Thunder Palace. That way is Fire Palace. Oh. I just coins. At this point, I don't need any extra coins. I'm tired. Wanna go this way? I, the Great Thunderhand. No, I'm I, the Great Liar. Come on. Smack Luigi into the ground. He must go on his own. Come on. Call me Ohoji, but I know, I know, I know, no why. There we go. Break this uh, stone rock. He's set there. To you who have wandered into the Thunder Palace, these are the training grounds for those chosen few. I know not how you found your way here, nor how you managed to enter this pla place. But I have no business with you, and you have known with me. to part post haste. It's fine, but I want to see what this is. What? Oh no, Elec uh, Luigi just got shocked. But now, Luigi has the power of lightning! Crikey! Who dares touch the great Thunderhand spark? Impotent fool! And yet, you have touched the great Thunderhand spark, but still stand before me. So... Perhaps you have the qualities needed to master the Galventnik Thunderhand technique. Very well. I shall instruct you in the art of the Thunderhand. First, press the R button to select your hand power. Thunder. I love how he says thunder. He basically roll his, rolls his R at the end. Only then shall you release a burst of thunder and lightning. Perhaps you should try it once. Thunder. Luigi mastered the Thunderhand. Hmm, very, very well done. It is wise to use this power when an apparent conductor of electricity is nearby. You have done it. It is done. You have released me. And that's that. Thunder. Okay, let's go meet meet back up with Mario. Now that we have both the fire and the thunder, we but we have fire and thunder now. We can move on. But first, before moving on, let's go set fire and thunder to these OGs. Okay, he just kind of needs to run, run into it. Ebony, 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 ebony. I can't, I can't get this up. 
I have personally never fought these guys. I didn't know about this for the longest time. If we try to jump, we're fine. But if we use the electric hand power, we deal critical damage. It's basically the equivalent of super effective. Don't worry, I only pretend to be dead. Haha, <laughs> funny. If there was a tattle log, we'd be filling it up. But there isn't, so this is just fun. if there's one that doesn't move. I think you could just run into it. Come on. There we go. With Mario, we can use the fire ability. Do critical damage. Think! If fire hurt me, I take double damage from fire. I hurt already! There we go. So some enemies are weak to fire and some are weak to lightning. Don't worry, I only protect my dad. Haha, funny. And one other thing we could do. Oh, I didn't talk to you. I I I wish I were sun at dusk. Haha. While Luigi's in the back, Mario gets a little angry. And if we fire Luigi's butt, he gets all angry. Break that up. And with that, a pathway to a yellow pipe. Let's go. There's no clear indicator. Oh, the in indicator's at the very bottom. But yeah, if you wanted to get out of here, you need to hold A and B and move up and down like this. Apparently, if you drop from a very high point like this and just don't catch yourself, you actually lose some coins. Granted, I still have a lot of coins, so that doesn't matter, but I didn't know that was a thing. Oh ho, ocean. Tips for novice divers. You can swim by doing solo jumps on the ocean floor. Tap the buttons quickly to float higher and higher in the water. When two people swim together, they can move much faster through the water. That is true. And I think, if I'm correct, Mario and Luigi don't need to you know, go up for air, so this is probably... Which, that's actually normal for Mario and Luigi. They usually don't have an air meter in 2D games. If they can swim at all in 2D games. And somehow Mario's able to light up this little inlet right here. And the fire doesn't go away, because that makes sense. You see bubbles... That is an enemy. So, if we use the hand power... Eh, you're not weak to it, but are you weak to electricity? No, you are not. There we go, stopped his attack. Now he's in the air, we have to jump on him. He's a goon diver. Easy. Level 21. Let's see, what can we boost? HP's not bad. BP's okay. Power's not bad. I see some twos in there. Defense is okay. Not speed. Let's boost defense. No, let's boost HP. We got an extra 5 HP. 21 for Luigi. Okay. We could boost HP. BP's not that great. Power? Eh. Defense? Maybe. Speed? I see some twos in there. Boost HP. An extra 
extra 5 HP for Luigi. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I did not time that right. Easy. So many spikes on the floor, but you know, you can just keep swimming. Oh. I want my bean. I got my chuckle bean. And again, we may have gotten the hand power, but that's not a bros yet, so we're fine. Nothing to, uh. No, nothing to grind for. Fire! Yeah, so here, not really. I think we need to go south. Let me check the rest of the room. Yeah, we need to go south. I don't see anything else here. Okay. Oh, there's bloopers here, that's right. I'd rather keep swimming right now. on the third one. One, two, three. Easy. I think they're floating too high for you to use your hand power. I think. I'm not sure. So far, I can't of many attacks where we need to make sure to not have the hammer set up for both of them. They're, most enemies attack one at a time. I'm now kind of noticing that. I think later games will actually, like, attack both eventually. The pest nut. Okay. Set on fire? Yes, it's weak to fire. And it becomes a normal bean, but the bean can't swim, so he just floats up. Is he weak to electricity? Nope, just fire. Makes sense. Let's go see what's underneath. It's a normal bean! One way to get rid of them. See, you missed because it's floating in the air. Nope, not the hand power. Jump! There we go. We got Super Syrup and a, a Woo Bean. So I guess when the beans float up, it counts as a death. And not like a uh, runaway sort of thing. Okay. This way. Get the hammer. Gotta play a game of Simon. Again, I don't know how these things stay on fire while you're underwater. You tell me how this works. You can't fully explore the ocean, so just get what you can, I guess. Let's 
You know, I just thought of something. The game kind of front loads you with like two mini games, like very close to each other when it, like with the board. Oh, it's a gold beanie and it just floats away. Bye gold beanie. Hope you give me a spike badge. Um. Oh no, I got poisoned. But, so yeah, the game front loads you with like two mini games you can play. You know, the border jump and the, and the, uh, minecart one. But there hasn't been a mini game in a while. Kind of weird, uh, mini game spacing. That's the word. Hey, we got two spike badges. I didn't need that many, but we got two. There we go. Meanwhile, near the border. It's Browser. And Cacoletta and Valful. Oh, great. Cacoletta. What will this guy do? What anyone will do now. Early. Quickly. Cacoletta's soul is going into Bowser. That's ominous. there was a badge that boosts up your, uh, your, uh, uh, your stash stat. I just don't have it. So, yeah, ads are done. Uh, it looks like Cacletta, Cacletta's soul has now taken over Bowser or something. It's kind of ominous. I've searched high and low for you two. I feared that you met a terrible fate. It is true. Bean starts split into four pieces. They really have scattered. It is sad, really. What? You say you help me search for the Bean Star pieces? Of course, I would be most appreciative. But actually, I'd like you two to go on, go to Bean Bean Airport. <laughs> You'll see. Mrs. Peach is blessing our fair land with her presence. Dignit uh, dignitary of Princess Peach's stature visiting our kingdom is a very serious affair. And that is why I would like you two to attendance to uh, in attendance to greet her royal loveliness. As such, you must head to Bing Bing Airport immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, by the by, Bing Bing Airport is south of Bing Bing Castle. I must head there myself immediately, so I'll see you there. Alright, uh, that is direction, or we could go to the castle and make a new coffee blend. That sounds like a plan to me. Who cares about meeting the princess? She'll blow me, uh, blow us up. That's not a good thing. Let's go ahead and make a new coffee blend. So we need, we should be able to make the Ho Ho Blend. No, we can't. Never mind. We cannot make the Ho Ho Blend. Can we make anything over here? The Holumbian. 
Yes, we can. Ghosts again. No, no, it's time. I've chosen a slightly different way of making my entrance. So I think if I'm gonna take a wild guess, this is the one that's supposed to be EGAD. Like this one was supposed to be EGAD in the first place. Nothing changes. We'll see. Hmm. What? Well, just showing up the same old way over and over gets old after a while. Besides, don't video conferences feel futuristic and cool? So you're not gonna try our new drink this time, boss? Oh, don't worry. I sent a representative to taste it in my stead. He should be arriving soon. A representative? <laughs> don't worry. He's, he's a harmless, friendly little ghost. Please allow him to taste that new drink. Again, GBA Luigi's Mansion game when? have the sprites. Oh, mercy. It seems to have been just heavenly. Oh, okay. No, this one wasn't supposed to be Egan. Thanks for that sample. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. We get the Great Force. Next time I'll come in person. And obviously, Link was supposed to show up. Can we make another blend? How about the Chuckachino? No, we need to fight a few more bean enemies to get that one. What about this? No, we need to do more mini games as well as get more normal games. Alright, we can't really do more at the moment. Come on, the menu. We need to fight more normal enemies, as well as do some more mini-games. We could grind for that if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. Because we'll get plenty of opportunity to grind for more mini-games without having to repeat. Instead of going to the... Instead of going to the airport, I want to check something right now. We are going up here. So to Luigi. Open this up. Other side areas we can't really get to, and if we can, it's not really important. It's important to maybe go this way if we can do it now. If not, I might be thinking of step three instead of doing step two. If you go around this way, it just kind of loops like this, but you don't have to do that. There's that little shortcut right there. I want to go in here. Go down here. Whoa! I was wondering who the that might be. It's the good old Mario Bros. How have you guys been doing? We moved out this way recently. This new place is bigger than the old one, which makes it easier for us to do our work, which is good. Say, are those hammers we made for you striking mighty bro blows? Well, how about we reforge them and power them up for you? What do you say? It's free? Yes! Great, now we'll have these back into you in just a second. All right, they're ready. And they're more powerful than ever. Pow, pow! We got the super hammers. Now you ought to be able to break rocks you couldn't break before. Go ahead and test it out the strength of, of those bad boys. Come back here again after a while. You never know. You might be able to forge your hammers again to make them even stronger. Yes. I don't think it increases damage in battle or anything. Not like Paper Mario, but, you know, it lets us explore a bit better. We want to do this. I am Thwomp, and I love a good game. Test your luck for a mere 200 coins. Are you guys ready to show me the mighty swing you got? Yes, we want to do this. 
We got three blocks. We gotta pick one. We might get one tr incredible treasure. That's what we need to try to go for. Okay, chat. Left, right, or middle. What do we pick? Give it a few seconds. seconds if nothing then I will just pick just in case there might be a delay. Uh, we'll give it another maybe 10 seconds for response. And okay. Let's try the left one. Nothing. Mamma mia. Failure. Let's try that again. 200 coins. My psychic senses are saying we break the right one. And we get money. 300 coins. You make some money back. We want to keep going. It's not what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and try the right one again. Yes, there it is. We got it. We got a secret scroll number one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You can now use a new bros attack in battle. That's why I went over here. Now, Mario's the only one that has a new bros attack. So we can just start working on that with Mario. Something for him to do before we get our, you know, our other set. That's why I wanted to come here. New hammer upgrade means we can explore a bit more if we wanted to. And new bros. Let's go ahead and head to the airport. I don't think there's anything else I could do now that would be important. Again, I think that pair of pants Luigi got just really affects turn order. Makes it to where speed won't matter for him. Okay. Swing bros. I forget how this works. Actually, no. I'm remembering it. I think I'm remembering it. It's A. Hold A. Let go A. There we go. That's that's something. Yeah, we gotta work on that. Instant measure. Actually, I wanna check the hand. Still just a stun. Okay. We'll work on swing bros. I mean, that's a funny way of uh, failing. Let's try that again. Close enough. Getting some blue beans out of it. No, not there. We need to go down this way. Actually, no, we don't. Not this way, but doing this allows me to get another bean fruit. Oh, again, that's for later. Those are too weak for me. Even Luigi can one-shot them. Again, why is the airport locked behind someone need to learn how to use electricity? Out of their hands. If we take the left path, we can't do anything. I'm gonna make a save. Playing 
carry, Princess Peach seems to be late. All the rumors around town suggest a huge VIP celebrity is coming from the Mushroom Kingdom. You're gonna get photographic evidence and sell it for big bucks to the town know-it-all. Great plan, huh? I wonder why Princess Peach is coming to Bean Bean Kingdom. Bean Bean Air is busy with repairs at the moment. None of our planes are flying. Mario, Luigi, Lady Lima is calling for you. Please go to the runway up ahead. I'm terribly sorry, but your cola cola is prohibited on airplanes. Any solo will be confiscated. Oh, Masters Mario and Luigi, Queen Bean was most pleased by your efforts at the University. By the way, there have been a slight hiccup in our plans to welcome Princess Peach. You see, nasty piranha plants have dug their roots in into this runway. Her airplane can't land. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was Luigi's voice, not Mario's. So that's a little off. Hmm, what? You want to know why the repairs haven't been made? Well, with the Kakwara incident, it doesn't didn't seem to be a priority. But enough about that. You must do something about these disgusting piranha plants. For the sake of the princess, you can't refuse, can you? Well then, show me that Mario Brothers work ethic I have heard so much about. Well, in the meantime, before we, you know, work on getting rid of this piranha plants, let's gather some chocolate beans. I must say, I'm quite interested in these piranha plants, loathsome as they may be. Water can easily be extracted from the petals of a piranha plant. Did you know that? It's true. The plants are said to be are said to hide below ground, so not to be soaked by lightning when wet. Mmm, there's your hands. There's more of these beans. I don't I don't need rally blocks. After a certain point, they just kinda waste time. It's not like I use money a lot. I don't need to buy that many things. And also with Greed Wallet, I am just raining in money. Alright, that should... Oh, another two more. Yeah, this area has a lot of chuckle beans. Alright. So we need to swap to Mario. We need to get fan. We need to hit him with the hammer. Do that. Also, you can tickle him. That's something you can do. Then we swap to Luigi. Electrocute him. Four more to go. I just thought of something. Now that we have Spin Bros, we're potentially missing out on something if I don't grind. Hold on. Uh, let me let me check something. Let's do a few minutes. I don't think it requires. Um, no, 
I am not seeing... I am not seeing, like, okay. We could be missing out on something if I don't do any grinding. But it's not tied to an achievement. So, but I could try for it. I mean, that's the point of getting the swing grouse. Uh, you know what? We're gonna ignore the piranha, or mama piranha. Let's grind out swing grouse. Because that way we can now try to uh, try for something. We're just gonna go around, fight enemies along the way. Normally I don't take the time to grind like this, but. I think it, it's... Well, it's not best. But you'll miss out on stuff if you don't try to grind it. Uh, if you don't try to grind. So I guess to kind of show it off, potentially. Might as well go for it. Actually, I could waste a turn by doing this. Yeah, it's only one damage. I'm not that worried. Yeah, might as well grind it out. There's a reason you would want to grind. Might as well. Oh, okay. Again, I'm not sure if it's just about using the skill of, like, getting the perfect, so we'll try not to fight spiky enemies. Another bean fruit. Again, look, that is, like, super obvious, like, there's something there. More swing bros. I wonder how many times you need to use this. I hope for our sake that it's not that much. That way we don't need to spend that much time grinding. It does seem like there's like a, a, a different number that needs to be used depending on the skill. It seems that way anyway. And we can also take the opportunity to uh, Explore a bit more because we've got new hammers. There isn't that many new things here, though, but we might as well. We're getting a lot of whoopies, that's for sure. Now we can explore up here now. Okay, come on. <laughs> you have to. I'm not purposely trying to get those. It's just obvious. Like, there's obviously something. Why wouldn't you try? Not a great lineup here. You know what? I might be better grind. I might be better off grinding in Chocolate Woods. Or Chuckahawk Woods. 
Yeah, you know what? That's probably a better spot to grind. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and use a syrup. 20 BP versus 40. We don't have that many super syrups, so I want to save them. Even though that is the better item to use right now. We have so much BP. Or at least Mario does. Yeah, I think there's a lot less spiky enemies if we go into Chuckle Hop. We'll hang out here for a little while. Oh wait, no, there there is still a good amount of spiky enemies. Spiky enemy. I may do that. Hmm. Can I waste a turn? Yeah, by doing that. Ooh, let's leave him alone. Uh, maybe next time. Normally, I don't like to go out of my way to grind like this. I mean, I just grind along the way. Well, let's just waste a turn and use a mushroom. That didn't take long. Oh, yeah. I'm good if we got syrup for that. Alright. Now that we've upgraded it, let's test it out. Is there another spear guy here? Because there, there was a whole reason why I was doing that. Uh, it doesn't matter who we use it on. So, we can use it on basically any. Although, I don't know how well it works against spiky enemies. Yeah, I had a feeling that one wouldn't take long to turn into a dance. Because that one's very important. Let's go ahead and just take number four. Let's fight... Let's fight some of those. Wait, no, that... Is there a swarm over here? Enemies should have respawned. Right? Enemies respawned, right? There we go. So, I forget how the order goes. So I'm gonna go with the full slow down version. Forget how it works. I'm leaving him alive. I want to test it out again because I don't remember how to do it. Swing bros. Then we grab. And then you alternate between A and B, I think is how it works. I want to try that again. Oh, I... So, 
when you do that correctly, which I think I just did right there, there's a chance to steal an item. Really? And that's why I wanted to grind it out. Because you have a chance to steal an item, we might as well try to steal an item from Mama Piranha. This is... No, you only... F There's no boss rematches. Let's go ahead and... Oh, not bad. Uh... Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, grinding that didn't take that long. I think they kind of knew. If you wanted to steal something, you would have to do the grinding right, right now, like I did. Oh, let's give it a try. Okay. Try and remember how this works. Actually, you know what? An ad's playing. I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna be right back. I am back. Alright. So, I'm now remembering something about this fight. If we attack Mama Piranha without taking care of the piranha plants, the piranha plants get free shot. A free counterattack. However, I want to try to steal. Oh, I missed the timing. Take the opportunity to go ahead and use the five of the Thunder Hand to get rid of the Piranha Plant. Not much damage. And she gets a regen. So I guess if I wanted to spam this. I did not time it right. That was one damage? You know what? We could spam this. We could spam that move. Take out both piranha plants, a new set pops up. With a different color, changing Mama Piranha. And as you 
can probably already tell this one's weak to fire, but with Mario, I want to try to steal. I'm not getting the timing right. I think every boss from now on has something we can steal. But the problem is, uh, you only get the one shot. And I don't remember how, I don't know if, how, I do not know how good they are, because I don't know if I ever got these. <sighs> that timing is very strict. I actually don't mind that I'm doing, not doing that much damage. I don't mind this. I want to try to steal something. I don't mind spending a little extra time trying to do this. It's not linked to achievement or anything. Uh, I missed the timing. It's so strict. I kind of wish it wasn't as strict as I guess it seems. I'm not even actually trying to defeat the boss right now. I'm just trying to steal something. Finally! We got a Spiny Badge A. Okay, Luigi, let's go ahead and... Um, is that the only thing we could get here? I'm trying to think. I think you can only get one steal per boss fight. I'm wondering if there's, uh, if 
there's other, like a, a common and a rare. Mm. Can, you, can you give me a minute? I wanna look this up. I just wanna see if there's multiple steals. She's resistant to jump face attacks because she has the shell on the head. That's what's happening. Uh, weak to that element. Right. So eliminates. Oh, okay. I forgot. You don't want to defeat Mom Piranha if possible when she's blue. She gives zero coins for some reason. At least in this version. Um, let me check. Let me check something. Okay, we stole the spiny badge. Okay, so if I were to guess how this works is because we stole the spiny badge, we get a different item drop that's not as good. I think we get the spiny badge no matter what. I don't fully know how this is like if this how this is like fully listed. Wait. Steal another one? Can we steal another one? Hold on. Now I'm curious. I might as well... I'll use a syrup. I'll give it, like, one more attempt. I stole one spiny badge, that's good enough. I'm just testing out something. And of course I missed that timing. Fine, I actually did better. We'll give it another go. For now, we can go ahead. That I'm looking at for some reason there's like two sets of stats and it, it makes me think that we can steal another one. Fine. Okay, I'm being serious. One more seal attempt if I even get it right. Continue on with the fight. Okay, one more attempt. Being serious here. Okay, nothing. So it it was just listed in a weird way. It seems like there's only one stealable item. There isn't, like, a, a common or a rare variant or anything like that. Uh, what I want to do now, since we're actually going to take the time to fight, I want to make sure Mama Piranha stays red. So I'm going to go ahead and just have Luigi do this. It deals way more damage. like this, I'll go ahead and let Mario uh, go with Chopper Bros. Deal 
lot more damage that way. I think she'll get a heal if I attempt to attack her with fire at this point. Or she has high, higher resistance. I'm not sure. But we want to leave her as the red one. Having the Piranha Plant set up like this is a good idea, because if there's two red Piranha Plants here, she would have healed 20, so having one of each color, you know, it reduces the amount of total healing she'll get. with Mama Piranha stats with the 3DS version. And yeah, it, it looks like Boss has got a buff. Because uh, Mama Piranha has like an extra 100 HP. Among other things. So yeah, it was a... Yeah, they knew. Maybe not HP. BP's okay. We're going to be trying to seal a lot. Okay, Luigi, can we boost anything noteworthy? Speed's not a bad idea. Although, with my current equipment, I don't need to boost speed. Especially with the five. Yep, Luigi just sit on Mama Brian. Alright. Let's go talk to Lady Lima. Well done, so Now we can welcome Princess uh, Princess Peach to our fair kingdom. good sign, because remember, she swears all the time and causes massive explosions ever since she lost her voice. <laughs> Even more Luigi's like, no, 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 this is a bad idea. Hush, everyone. Princess Peach, representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greetings. Like that fake out. Mario, Luigi, thank you so much for all you've done. I'm so relieved that the two of you are safe. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, terribly amusing, yes. Come now, don't be so startled. You see, I must tell you, Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. Wow. Why are we here? I knew Cat Leather was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle. And warn the princess. In all reality, hidden behind the curtain. This is the Princess Peach whose voice was stolen. It was and that is why the Bean Star reacted so strangely to her voice. It burned out. As you can see, every card in our hand was true, and truly was better than theirs. Mario, Luigi, I'm so sorry to have caused you so much trouble. 
When the pair of you came rushing to the castle, I intended to tell you the truth immediately. But Bowser beat you there. And I lost my chance to spill the beans, so to speak. Spill the beans. Is that some sort of, uh, insult in their, to their people? I don't know. Could, that might be some sort of insult. But you defeated Kakaletta, nonetheless. And that is something to be c congratulated for. By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the bean star. It apparently broke into four pieces, which seems to be lost. And so I am off yet again. I must sally forth to look for the pieces of the bean star. You two can relax here and enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom with Fair Princess Peach. Bye bye. All right. Yeah, we'll keep going. Did we talk to Queen Bean? Yeah, we do. Oh, Master Mario, spot on time! Mario, Luigi! I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there is a mushroom town in Bean Bean Kingdom called Little Fungi Town. Do you know of it? Mm. It is a town full of toads who have immigrated to this land. How dare they try to leave our precious kingdom! We must give them a visit! And show them who's boss. They can't escape from Peach. Since we have come all this way to this land, I wish to pay an official royal visit to Little Fungi Town. That is acceptable in theory, but to reach Little Fun Fungi Town, you must go north through Tihi Valley. Tihi Valley is filled with vile monsters that would be a little, no, very dangerous for Princess Peach. As the royal representative of the Senior Toads, I must vigorously oppose this idea. Passing through unknown lands filled with monsters is absolutely absurd. Why the very idea? <coughs> <coughs> and yet, I suppose if Mario and Luigi ex escorted you... Mario, Luigi, since we seem to have come to a consensus, won't you take me to Little Fungi Town? Oh no. <laughs> Luigi. Let's go. Will that do, Toadsworth? As if I have any sight in the matter. Just be very, 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 very careful. I must bring preparations immediately. Mario, you and Luigi should meet us up north, at the entrance to Tiki Valley. And with that, please allow me to excuse myself, Queen Bee. Your princess is not only beautiful, but both wise and courageous as well. I'm severely impressed. Mario, Luigi, we have entrusted Princess Peach's safe keep keeping to the two of you. Leave the castle town and head northeast to reach TV Valley. Might as well check the spiky badge or spiny spike bat. Spiny badge A does double damage to spiny creatures. Spiny specifically it says spiny killer. It's not. Oh, okay. It, any spike enemies, okay. So it's just an upgraded version of the spike badge. It is more powerful. Double damage to spiky, spiny creatures. Times two damage on spike creatures. So it seems like it does the same thing as the spike badge. It's just a stronger variant of it. But it gives the... It doesn't give as much BP. But hey, like... Give it to Luigi. Uh, you know what? Did I have enough beans? Yes. We can make that new blend. Right? Which ones did I make? Hold on. Woohoo, Chuckle, Teehee, Hulumbia. Oh, it's the hoe beans I was trying to... Columbian boosts power by four. They're actually pretty close in power. Um... Okay, let's see if we can make a new one. It would have to be in the second set, and it's not the minigame one. I could grind for that, but I don't need to. We'll take care of minigames later. Uh, can we make the this? Yes, we can. Perfect. 
perfect. One Chuckachino. Oh, surprise, yet another video conference. Hiya, boss. But weren't you supposed to be here in person this time? Promises are made to be broken. I'm too busy with my research. Don't tell me you're sending another representative. <laughs> oh, there's, no, there's no need for that. Listen here, this brand new Game Boy Horror boasts a new warping cap uh, capability. Just bring the new bean juice and place it before the monitor. Somehow that works. Oh, oh, the work was successful. <laughs> Another mind numbing deep flavor. Thanks for that scent. There's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. The power grip. That's supposed to be for, uh, Samus was supposed to be here to give you that. Next time, I really, really will be there in person. Uh, we can't make any more. There's two more we have to make. But we don't have enough beans. Oh, wait, uh, what does the power grip do? Never drop the hammer the hammerhead on defense. Okay. It's like the excite spring and the power grip are kind of um, parallel to each other. I don't know if parallel is the right word. Oh, the great force. Doubles the damage you give and take. Honestly, Luigi's having trouble with power? And he's the tank of the group. He could probably afford to uh take double damage and still be okay. There's nothing else to do here. Let's go ahead and warp. I think we can warp to six. That might be faster. I don't know. I don't know what would have been faster. We should go on to TV Valley. Might be using bros moves a little bit more. Let's see. Didn't get anything out of that. Maybe some enemies just have nothing to steal. I'm not fully sure how it works. I need to look into it. TV Valley. Master Mario. Master Luigi. You can come in here sooner, but by this point you need the hammer upgrade. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Now then, Master Mario, Master Luigi, please make sure to take the most diligence to serious care of Princess Peach. Oh yeah. I'll be back before you know it. Okay, Mario and Luigi, let's go to little fungi town. Oh yeah. Say something vital. Oh, that's right. Master Mario, wait. Oh, now I've done it. Great, Peach. You're already captured. Master Mario, I forgot to tell you one vital tip. And now look what just happened. If you let the princess out of your sight like we just did, she'll get kidnapped instantly. I beg of you, rescue her and take care of her to ensure that you do not leave her side again. If the princess gets too far ahead, please stop her and talk to some sense into her. I've asked her to return by the same path she took. If you should speak to her. With that, good luck. I'm counting. It's a good idea to fight the enemies as we see them. Let's try stealing what we can. Or, you know, I, I did say try. Uh, can you? 
a spiky snippet. Can we electrocute her? No, I think it's fire that they need to. Oh, I think I remember the animation. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, Luigi can jump on him. That's our first death. One up mushroom. That's it. That's the first time one of our characters, Mario or Luigi, died. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. You got a syrup out of it. Okay. So if we wanted to grind for more syrups, that's not a bad idea. You get a surplus. Let's try this. Yeah. Can you electrocute? No, but it's a one KO anyway. Like all enemies are out of here. Is there any hidden bees? Not really. I think I still lost some coins for doing that. You don't need to fight them. You don't want to. Alright. Don't leave my side, Peach. The reason why it wouldn't it's not a bad idea to get rid of uh, the enemies as you can because now they're permanently gone for good. And apparently if she gets captured by an existing enemy, when you come back the enemy's gone anyway. Make sure to not move on until you get like a text box like this. Don't try to move ahead. Right now we're just gonna spend time just clearing out enemies. Get a mushroom. Or mushrooms. It said mushrooms. One thing I forgot to point out. However you defeated the final enemy changes your victory moves. I, I forgot about that. Okay, so we can get syrups if we steal from you. Get mushrooms can do this. Wait, how much damage did that do? Holy, nearly 300 damage! Wow. Luigi's dealing a lot of damage right now. I, I think that's the great force involved. Wow. That's insane. Sure, she gets to the end and turns around. Here, we'll fight you. Try to get more syrups. Ah. Might as well waste a turn. Mario. 
Good thing I healed Mario. Uh, the Goomba is slightly closer to whoever he's gonna target. I think that's how it is. Oh well, I tried. Okay, so Peach is gonna turn around. And again, you could talk to her to make her turn around. So, what we need to do... Get her over here. Force her to turn around. Get up here. I'd have been able to be kidnapped to from there if I didn't get there in time. I'm gonna go this way. I really gotta practice this. Taking like what 12 damage? Yeah, he is the tank, so it's not bad. Did I not time it right? I don't remember. I don't know. I'm trying to get used to it. speed stat for one character by the end of the game, trust me. Okay, at around here, we need Peach to turn around. She'll turn around anyway. That you know, you can enter Tiki Valley uh, before. I wonder if you can set all this up beforehand, because I know you can make it all the way to the end. And you just can't get into the little fungi town. I wonder if you can skip all of this waiting for Peach. That probably would be a better idea. Little fungi town. Mushroom Kingdom Immigrant Community. Funkai Town's up ahead. Don't let your guard down yet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is Peach. Why are you separating from us? This is where something always goes bad. Elevator to Gufala. Gufa Ruins, capacity one. Can't go up there. <laughs> of course. Hey, man. So bad. Uh, go, go rescue her. Huh? Something that huge? That's impossible. Wow. <laughs> hey, man. Isn't that Mario? Right. Talk about lucky. Alright. We got a fight with Trunkle. And 
one thing I did not know about as a kid, you can uh, target the uh, plant on his head. There's an important reason why you would want to target that, I think. But for right now, we'll target them on. Just a one-up mushroom, okay. I want to try to get another shot in. Just steal a one-up mushroom from him. Is that right? I'm gonna look this up. Um, from... Let me look. What is your stat? something here. Uh... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something else here. May only be dropped from enemies when using the advanced swing bros or having Kindle or SP. Okay, wait a minute. So I... Advanced Swing Bros, and or having Game Boy Color SP. Okay, we may reset this fight, but for right now, let's just continue the fight. That's an example of you don't want to have them both hold the hammer at the same time. No, we don't need swing bros. There's only one item you can steal at a time. Well, yeah, that wasn't that hard. We get super nuts. I see the problem. I see what I did wrong. Because I technically killed the tree, I got super nuts. I'm resetting. Nintendo. We're trying that again.
so... Let's try this again. If you steal from the body... I failed. It's fine. So might as well use another syrup. from the body. We got mushrooms out of that, but we want to just... The one that had the orange is the real one, and I believe that would be this one. Mess that up. But that had the orange, which defeated all of them, and we got super nuts. I think Nintendo. there is this item drop that you can only get from him. Give it one more try. Does he split up? Is that see? Like it only takes like only a couple hits to actually defeat him. The enemies are so weak. The, oh, the bosses are very weak. Let's try it again. Oh, this move. So it's this move is the reason why I was suggesting attack the tree. It's because the tree can't heal itself. The body can with that move. But as we kind of saw, he was just never using this move. I need to try to steal. Lucky Bros, that's what I was looking for. There we go. Perfect, now we can continue the fight. Okay, if you attack the body, it'll split up like this. But if you attack the tree, this won't, this will never happen. Stash, why not? Yeah, make my stash even nicer. I was trying to get the lucky bros. Oh, Mario, Luigi, thank you. You saved me. Oh, yeah. Now that I think about it, though, you probably could have had the Game Boy Horror SP, which is one of the items you could get from the Bean uh, 
and stuff. And that also kind of does something similar with getting rare, uh, rarer items, like with the stealing. So, probably could have had that for Cacoletta. That might have been better. Probably would have been a good idea to do that. Looks like they got it. So yeah, the monster blocking the gate to the town was a huge problem, needless to say. Thank you. Welcome to Little Fungi Town. The Prince's Peach of Mario Bros. We have been waiting for you. We were told to expect you. Please, we insist you use the lift in the back. <laughs> Tiki, I wonder what kind of town it is. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, Mario, and you too, Luigi. Hop on. Princess Peach, I is that your high? Is that you, your highness? We heard you were coming from T -T Toadsworth. But so soon? We're so honored you come all the way here. And over here we have the S superstar M -M -M Mario. And Luigi, are you for real? We don't deserve such an I incredible honor. Thanks for your hospitality. Very well then. Allow us to show you around the little fun guy town. Mario, Luigi, thank you so much for all you've done. I'm all right now. You two can relax a little, and walk around and enjoy the sights. We can all meet up again a little bit later. Let's take a look at that badge we got. The Lucky Bros badge increases your frequency of lucky hits. Does not boost stash. It is better than this. Let's be honest, you're not dealing with spiny creatures that often, and when you do, do you really need the times two? Yeah, I'd rather have the extra power. So now, Luigi, with his current build, has a chance for even more power. Which, let's be honest, should grab it. We're better off giving it to Mar, but whatever. If it isn't more than Luigi, Mario, rumors of your deeds have reached my ears. And you, Luigi, always looking after the home front. Well done. Actually, um, is there a... There is. You know what? I think we're gonna call it. This seems like an okay place to stop. Yeah, you know what? I think we are going to call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 stream There's a link in the about page. Before we call it, because I always forget the order of these things, let's take a look at what achievements we got for this session. Specifically this session. Let's see. So, I went back and uh, defeated Bowser at the beginning of the game without taking any damage. Skip through some of these. Uh, a lot of these are basically just story stuff, more or less. Get the five beanlets for the golden mushroom. Again, that one is missable. It doesn't say it, but it is. Defeat Cacletta at Woohoo University. Fight Popo and Wookie for the, for the bean star. And you can kind of see their bros move right there and use somewhat... Grab both the hand abilities for each brother. Defeat Mom Piranha at the airport. Defeat Trunkle at Tiki Valley. Get the Bros Rock Badge by finding all the beanstones. This is missable. Get the Greed Wallet from Professor E. Gad. And you can kind you can see that the Wario sprite here that was used, that was in the code. Uh, get the bonus ring from Professor E. Gad. There's Fox. Then get the sight spring from Professor E. Gad. Get the Great Force from Professor Egad. Get the Power Grip from Egad. Get the High End Badge from the Celebrity Mole. Get the Secret Scroll 1. Uh, upgrade Swing Bros. Upgrade Knockback Bros. And that's all we got. There we go. I believe it. 
there. Have a good day. Later. See you next week.